Hi, this is Teresa again from The Silk Thread. I had a lot of requests for the technique I'm getting ready to show you, which is a collage of leaves with four scarves at a time. What you're looking at right now is my iron bucket. I keep it on the porch. And this gets stronger as it sits here. That's a ferrous sulfate. So I'm just adding more water to it to dilute this, really dilute this. And then I'll begin my techniques. I have four scarves. One is soaking in titanium oxalate. The other is soaking in iron. And they're only soaking because I have one hand to do this. And I'll try to do the best that I can. The other scarf has been laid on the table. 8 by 72 and I have just sprayed this with water. Sometimes I use vinegar and water. This is I ran out. This is what I'm using. And all I'm doing is getting it damp enough. If it's damp enough, it won't slide around on the table. I put plastic on this table. I reach in, take my silk scarf. This is eight Mome Habitai. Again, one hand. And I squeeze it. Really squeeze it out to get rid of any excess iron. I'm going to just dump it here. I'm going to reach in with my titanium oxalate. And I use this a lot because it produces some pretty yellows and oranges, which you can't get with some of the others. Again, squeeze it all out. Really good. Shake it out just a little, drop that one in the iron, pick it up. I usually try not to contaminate my mordants. In this case, I'm doing um, titanium oxalate and iron together. Here's my iron, goes in the titanium oxalate, just enough to get it wet. I bring it out. If I notice a lot of iron, then I will just squeeze it off so it's not squeezing iron back into the titanium oxalate. So now I have one scarf sprayed with water because I ran out of vinegar, one dipped in iron and titanium oxalate, and the other started in titanium oxalate and then I added the iron. My leaves are not laying out here, they are over here. Do you see this pile? I'm going to scoop them up and I'm going to deposit them on that top laid out silk. So here is my first layer, and you see what I did. I didn't, I just, I just dumped them, all right? But go through and make sure you don't have any big sticks or stems sticking in them. Now, I'm going to lay one of these, I guess it'll be this one, on top. So give me a second to do this. I can't do it one-handed. So the mordanted scarf is on top of the first one, and when you're working on your own, just use a gallon container of water, oh, the wind's blowing, to sit it here so you can normally handle it. And then we're going to bring out in just a second, just quickly, the trusty rolling pen which is going to be used to flatten all this down. And as you roll, you're going to hear it all crunch together. So this is going to be a collage. I'm going to put two more scarves down. I'm going to keep stopping and showing you what I'm doing. Okay, my third scarf is going down. You notice I have my gallon of water on it. And because it's not wet, it's easier for me to put it out here. I did put leaves that had spilled out onto it. And now I come back and I squirt this. I'll straighten it out in just a second. But again, we're not using any plastic because I want the design to go through each silk scarf so we get a total layered look. They're, they're quite beautiful. You'll see when I'm done. Right now I have one, two, three layers of scarves, no plastic, 
what I get is what I get. So I'll try to show this again as I progress. Now I'm going to put another layer of leaves and the last mordanted silk scarf on top of them. Last layer of leaves, the entire length of the 72 inch scarf. Come back with your rolling pin and flatten all those layers as best you can. Now I'm going to put some weights on and I'm going to start rolling. Again, no plastic. Plastic will ruin the effect you're trying to get of a collage. There's no way that I can roll and show you, but you see what's happening. I'm just rolling them all together. I get a big bubble of stuff. I'm crushing the leaves as I go, but it looks pretty already. See it? All right, let me roll it up. Okay, sort of a messy bundle, isn't it? But the point is I put two rubber bands on um, the ends here, here and over here, and now I've tied my string and I'm going to wrap it all the way around. If you've read any of my work on my website, thesilkthread.com, you'll know that this is a contact form of printing, so the leaves have to be touching the silk. I've got four layers, lots of leaves. Let me wrap it up and get it in the pot. I've used my digital thermometer, which is the best thing that has ever been made. My temperature on my turkey roaster is 195. A bit hotter than I want, but it's okay. I use these tongs from the dollar store to both lower my bundle in and to pick it out. You don't want to splash yourself with boiling water. And here is the first bundle in. I submerged it a minute to let the bubbles go. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of leaves on the outside. It's just plain water, nothing special. Okay, we're going to cook one and a half hours, about 185 to 195 thereabouts. Okay, so an hour and a half later, I have taken out my bundle. Kind of looks like a roast, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to just put it up here on the reeling, which is hard. Oh, I have dropped these. I have several other things in the pot, a little bit different. Uh, remember, you're not boiling these, you're simmering them. So I hear that all the time, but I will unwrap it as soon as I can get my hands on it, comfortably. Okay, I'm going to start unrolling this. And it looks kind of dark, it looks brown, it looks like all sorts of things, but I can assure you when this dries, and these do dry lighter than you initially see them. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to steam. So let me get one silk, two silk, three silk, and here is a fourth. Give me a second to shake these out, and then I'm going to hang them on the clothesline, and you can see them wet. And then you'll be able to see them when they're dry and after I've thrown them in the washing machine. And yes, that is how I wash them in the washing machine. Okay, I'm going to try to show this. As these dry, and it's windy out here, these beautiful details that you are seeing, those subtle... Oh, they're really pretty. They're going to dry. It won't be as dark. If I can pull this one out. I'm hoping you can see the collage that the wind's blowing. And some of these leaves that are stuck right there, they'll come off. So I'll be working a little bit later to give you a better look at these. As they dry, the detail becomes really obvious and they're gorgeous. It's basically four scars being done in the same amount of time that takes most people to do one. So it's great when you're working with uh, quantity. I'll be back. So here we have the final results of the collage technique with four silk scarves. You can see various depths of field in it. You can see obviously that I used an iron mordant with a little bit of titanium oxalate. Your results will vary depending on what uh, mordant you choose to use. But the results just are really warm and inviting. 
And I've learned that my customers really love being able to um, just see the randomness of it. Some like specific prints, but many, many, many love this collage technique. So give it a try. You can always start with two scarves, but in the end, you'll wind up using four. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And here is a final look at these scarves, kind of tossed on my sewing table. The dark ones are the ones that I demonstrated. The lighter ones are ones that I displayed online not too long ago. And as you can see, different colors, different collages, all of them beautiful, all of them easy to do, easy to um, work with. So I hope you enjoyed all of this. Thanks.